rank your exes by name. By name. <laughs> by name. <laughs> Cheers to that. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever thought of guessing with any of your friends' man? I'm not gonna lie, I might have, you know, maybe might have. The bill comes, yeah? Tell me why he just looked at me. Oh, hell hey, yeah. yeah! Your worst hookup experience. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your ugliest friend? Are you mad? No. <laughs> exactly, exa exactly. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, something's a little bit different. I'm with a special guest. I'll let her, no, can I see it? Hold on, guys, I'm here with Jasmine. <laughs> you know the vibes. <laughs> exactly. You got it, you got it. Yay! As you can tell by the title, we're gonna be doing the Say It or Shot It challenge tag. Not sure, but you've seen it going around YouTube. We asked you guys to send us questions and the questions we don't wanna answer, we're gonna have to take a shot. Which mm, scary. <laughs> so scary. Wait, Jasmine, show them what you're drinking. So I've got my Aldi brand vodka. And, Love to you see know, it. And it probably be lit. Mm. Look after this, but you know the vibes. <laughs> And I'm drinking pink gin, obviously, because like my pineal is allergic. Yeah, so I'm gonna start off asking the questions. Rank your exes by name. By name. <laughs> by name. <laughs> Don't need this, because a lot of people will be scared here. A lot of people will be scared here. Oh. Cheers to that. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Just, no, thank you. No, thank you. What's an X? Mm. Like, what is that? Oh, wait, just give me a second. No, f that. Mm -mm. <laughs> what is your one insecurity? I don't want to say this on YouTube. I know, even I'm just like, do, do you guys need to know this or what? Okay, but seeing as we took shots before filming, I don't really want to take another shot right now. So I'm just going to say, I wish I my stomach was flat. That's all I'm going to say. Girl, I'm with you on that. Every time same, I same. Thing, I'm like, what is that? What is that for? And you just kind of crop. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I look on uh, online, I'm like, should I start this 30 day app challenge? Or no, what I should I do? Stop. <laughs> And it's like, I look at what I eat and what I drink and I'm like, sis, are you sure you want that stomach? Are you sure? <laughs> no, because the thing is, I'll be crying about it. No yeah, chance. still see me eating cake, all of this kind of things. So it's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? What, what are, are you, you doing? doing? And you know those poses you did to kind of like hide your stomach? Do you see the pictures mm -hmm. I posted the other day? Of me like, basically. Like, <laughs> 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 gotta hide it. Gotta hide it. <laughs> Have you ever thought of guessing with any of your friends' man or ex-man? I'm not gonna lie, I might have, you know, maybe might have. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Michelle's looking at you like sis. Yeah, I can feel lies, yes. buddy. <laughs> no, I feel like when you've seen them like doing good for each other, like you can't, you can't see them in that kind of way. Yeah, you know what I mean, I 100% agree. But on that note, I've had a crush on a friend's man, but in year nine. And okay. I didn't act on it, so I don't know uh -huh, if that counts. Okay. But yeah, it was like a silent crush that no one knew about. Next is, have you spoken to two guys at the same time who knew each other? Okay, knew each other. Everyone in Nairobi knows each other, so it's kind of... I know Nairobi, everybody knows each other. So but I guess, like, yeah. Let's say, close. Close, no. No. Okay. Oh, yeah. no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Are you thinking maybe? Have you? Maybe. No. No, I'm lying. No. <laughs> Okay, this person just said pregnancy scare. So you either have to say the situation or take a shot. I think I'm just to that one. Guys, so that's why well. contraception is. is so important. Uh -huh. And link to Jasmine's Cheers. video below. Yeah. Cheers to that. is key. <laughs> Tell us about the worst day you've been on. Oh, I mm -hmm. can say this on the chest. Basically, went to, do you remember Maya Lounge? Do you remember when Maya Lounge was a thing? Of course, Oh yes. my gosh, <laughs> throwback. First of all, I don't know what it is about guys keeping me waiting, but he was so late, like over an hour late. Scary. Mommy, do you have that written on your phone? Like, I, that's keep me waiting. Saying, keep me waiting. <laughs> keep me. My please. pet peeve is this, so do it. Thank you. Do it. 
So he mm. was like, oh, do you want to order shisha? Shisha makes me throw up for some reason. I don't know why. No, it's the dehydration, the headache. Yeah, the like, headache. Oh, no. Yeah, shisha and me. We Thank you. Oh my gosh. So he was like, okay, I'll just order it for myself. And then he was like, uh, do you want anything to eat? I was like, I'm good with cocktails, but we can get like fries. And he was like, no, we should get like mm. these three different types of fries. So I got like mm. three servings of fries and chicken wings. And I was like, okay, well, <laughs> if you want it, I okay. mean, whatever. I mean, <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> So the whole date he's like trying to like look for spots for us to go and like tap if you remember we used to call it tapping oh, like making no. out why is that even a thing? Why was that a thing? You so, wanna tap me? Do you wanna tap? <laughs> But mm. I wasn't feeling it. I was like, nah, let's just chill, like get to know each other because it's initially our first date. Anyway, mm. the bill comes. Yeah. Tell me oh. why he just looked at me. Oh hell no. yeah. He looked at me. I said you've been soaking the shisha by yourself. I d I said I didn't want shisha. I said I wanted one fries. And obviously, okay, I didn't actually say this to him because I can't. Apparently yeah, I'm too nice. Of so I was like, um, okay. Yeah, I just chucked everything. At that age, it was a lot. For me, 3K at 16 yeah. was a lot. That so is a lot. Like, yeah. Like, come on, allowance and all Literally, that. Literally, like, where am I <laughs> pulling up money out my ass? So, like, luckily I had it. I was but so she irritated. Shisha, I didn't even have a puff. A puff. How are you gonna, like, just, like, turn and look at me like, yeah, okay. So, yeah, so. Get it, Emma? <laughs> yeah. It's you, you, you got me. No. Mm -hmm. No, but no way my story is gonna top that. I was just like, I think the worst date I've been on is I went on a date, you know, I thought this guy was like, dude, whatever, you know, I was like, mm. so we go, we're having dinner, and obviously, like, my pet peeve is people eating with their mouth open. Oh, I hate that as well. You know, we're sitting, you know, together like this, mm -hmm. and Ted was there eating with his mouth open. I'm like, I do not wanna see your food. I do not wanna I see do. I do not wanna <laughs> You're mad. I promise you. So I was just like, okay, let me not be rude. Let me not say anything. So I just, you know, just ate my food quickly. And I was like, yeah, I'm full now. And he was like, okay, also now I'm full. So he stopped eating. I was like, yes. Oh my God, you're, you're listening to like the smacking of like the food. <gasps> Okay, this question is just like a violation. I don't know why someone would answer that, but who is your ugliest friend? Are you mad? No. <laughs> exactly, exa exactly. Sorry, but all our friends are bad bees. Listen, birds of a feather flock together, therefore. All my friends, attractive. All my friends, bad bees. And it's the same for Jasmine. And that's like, period. 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 Three words to describe you as a friend. Ooh, okay. I'd say understanding. I'm a very understanding person. Mm -hmm. Caring mm -hmm. and I guess bubbly. Mm -hmm. no, people wouldn't think I'm bubbly, but around my friends, I'm very like yeah. energetic. I see it. I see yeah, it. I see it. Okay, how would I describe myself as a friend? So loyal. Oh. <laughs> you know, if you're my friend, I'm gonna stick with you, or whatever. I love that. Defensive. Mm -hmm. Like can get very defensive like if you're coming up to my circle and I'm like seeing you my friend is like Jasmine like I don't want him to be here I'll be like like move um loving yeah your worst hookup experience no same no literally I can't take another shot I can't just do like a just do like a <laughs> You got gonna... this girl. You got okay, this. Okay, okay, okay. I got this. Well, she's got right. She's right. I got Did you not even bring any chase? I did remember the snap. Oh. <laughs> the alcohol. Lol. <laughs> okay, next is would you let a broke man pipe? Yeah, eggs. Okay. Pipe. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I've never been a materialistic person. As long as you have ambitions mm. and goals, I don't mind. Then that's okay. Mm. I mean, also our age, well, what, twenty twenty one? Yeah. Like we're all broke in reality, unless we all have multi million. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, it's like high key. High key. We're all broke. Yeah, so I guess in that in that case, yeah. To be honest, I actually agree with you when you say when you put it like that. Well, I feel it like that. I know. Sense. At first, you think like yeah. nah, but yeah. Why am I actually drunk? <laughs> No way. It's the same. I'm like looking here and I'm like. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you have any friends that you actually can't stand? If so, who? 
I, I might not name names, but I do definitely have like some people who are like maybe in my friend group. Like, you know, like those kind of people that are like are my friends, but then they're like, they're, like the, they're the, the group like, association yeah, 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 that yeah, I can't yeah. stand just because of like their values, their morals and stuff like that, which I just don't vibe with. So, yes. You have to take a shot because you haven't named names because they said if so, who? So I'll take a shot. So you have to take a shot. Yeah, I'll take a shot to that, but I definitely do. But then at the same time, I think like people that are like my close friends, if I didn't vibe with you on like that, then you I'm, wouldn't be close like, anyway. I cut you off. I'm exactly. too honest for that. So I yeah, take a that. shot to those ones that I will. <laughs> I really shouldn't be taking shots like this so recklessly. Okay. You got this. Let's go, girl. Oh my gosh, guys. She is like supporting me. And because yeah, of <laughs> Backbone or whatever, I got you. Yeah, she can do this. The fuck? <laughs> What's the most painful friendship breakup you've had? Ooh, yeah. I think like moving to the UK and everything from being in Kenya, like we obviously like grew apart from our friendships. You know, when you move away, like everyone thinks like, oh, it's so easy for you because you've moved away. And like that kind of brought like tension in our relationship because it's like I'm trying to fit in in this whole different country, but, but they want you me to still keep in touch. <laughs> and I'm like, guys, like I can't do both. So obviously, like that built this wedge between us. And yeah, I lost like quite a few friends. Like even till this day, I'm like, you know, because obviously I was like trying to like, you know, build that friendship back again, but. It was like too late now because they've all obviously moved on and stuff. But I was just like, oh I still my gosh, love you. Like, isn't you know that I mean? weird? No, I relate on a whole other level because wait, well, you went to the UK for A levels, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and and I just went the year before Jasmine, like for GCSEs, mm -hmm. and people kind of want to like keep your friendship intact but mm -hmm. obviously you're a thousand 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 miles away and you want to yeah. fit into this new school this new country this new culture mm -hmm. and obviously you're not going to spend as much time talking to them and they might mm -hmm. catch oh, feelings yeah. and stuff and you know when you watch your friends move on for you, from you like you're watching them like go to events you would have been at that event you would have been exactly. at that event but you weren't there like it's hard. It's hard. It's so hard. I think so friendship hard. breakups is so pain. It's so much more painful They're than like so boyfriend painful. breakups. That makes sense. Have you ever fought a girl over your man's? No. Neither. That is the level that I do not stoop to. It has nothing to do with the girl. It's your man's, especially if you yeah. don't know her. But ima can. imagine if it was your best friend, though. That's a different story. That's, That's a, a whole other friend. story. Yeah. I would never blame the girl. I'd obviously blame the guy, but then at the same time, I'll just be like, if it's my friend, I'll be like, yo, that is wrong. Do you know what I mean? But I wouldn't stoop to that level of like, oh, let me fight you. Because, I'm you know, physically fighting in public. No, I don't, I don't have, have time. time no. What is your biggest turn on? For me, it's confidence, but not cockiness. But I feel like there's a thin line. There's a thin line. A hundred percent, there's a thin line. Mm -hmm. So if you're confident, that's, that's me. I think it would have to be like if you smell good and hygiene. Like if you smell good, I'll be like, oh my gosh. Can I have some of that? <laughs> some of that? Like, oh my gosh, smelling good and hygiene, hand in hand. Mm, top tier. Top tier. Would you ever be in an open relationship? Oh. Oh. Funny enough, I was thinking about that. Like, when you think about it, like, I maybe would accept, like, if we were long term, like, maybe if I love, 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 love you <laughs> and maybe i could probably you know we could make it work <laughs> i'm like i don't know because at, at the end of the day like with open relationship comes jealousy comes you know a lot of complications so much shit. but i think if you have that understanding it could work yeah and you see what i'm trying to get at like i see what you're trying to get at but for me personally i don't have the growth or maturity yet to be able to allow an open relationship because yeah. the thought of like my man with another person i would person. rather die not to be dramatic but i would literally rather die no but see the thing is i get that like 100 percent. but then when i think about it i'm like okay if you and i were in a relationship or whatever we're not seeing each other for like a months a year you know that kind of thing maybe you could make like an agreement but you have to agree with it like it has to be so open but i might be capping in the relationship i'll probably be like now 
<laughs> okay, but my, my thinking is, if, if you want to go into an open relationship, or if your partner wants to go into an open relationship, it means mm -hmm. that something is missing that you want to fill. Yeah. And rather than, I feel like, working on the relationship and figuring out why, and when you find out that why, maybe you need to be together, yeah. or you, you, yeah. you shouldn't yeah. be together. You don't. You're trying to fill mm -hmm. that hole so that you have both your partner and you can fill around on the side to me it's a bit greedy to me it's a bit like it is something's missing so you want to feel it but you don't mm -hmm. want to go through the trouble of going through a breakup so you have the best yeah. of both worlds you have a wifey at home but you can also go fuck around with whoever in the club 100 percent, i agree i the only reason i'd agree with that like to an open relationship is if we were long term and like we actually like really cared about each other if it's not that if we're in the same country if we're in the same like what two hours apart like no we're not doing that like either come see me you make that effort or it's over you know what i mean yeah i get you yeah i get you but i totally agree with you thank you guys so much for watching <laughs> i hope you enjoyed <laughs> me and jazz together it has been honestly so much fun and thank you to all of you that sent in questions be sure to subscribe to jasmine's channel and i will link all of her socials below so that you guys can follow her and show her some love and tell her hey i'm from kami's video you're so cute because she is honestly the cutest person honestly. <laughs> and that being said be sure to like this video and subscribe to my own channel Get i've it. enjoyed this collab so like if you want more of these like just comment down below you know my girl subscribe to her channel subscribe like and da -da -da, all of the above oh and thank then, you my love you know we'll collab again because i've enjoyed this you know i have enjoyed this thoroughly bye guys